Eddie Bernice Johnson is a Texas Democrat and a registered nurse. She's also a congresswoman. Uh, Congressman John Shattig is a Republican from Arizona, and both of them are kind enough to join us. Uh, Congresswoman, let me begin with you. If the president takes this public option off the table, would you vote for this bill in any form? Not likely. I don't see any other way that we can achieve what we're trying to do. These, the people that are not being insured now uh, are not being insured because the insurance companies in business will not do it. We've <clears throat> got to find some way to get them insured hmm. and to control some of the costs that people who are insured uh, are paying now and getting less. John Shattuck, let me ask you, Congressman, uh, if the public option is in the bill, if it's mandated by the Democrats, would you vote for health care reform? I would not vote for health care reform. I do agree with Congressman uh, Eddie Bernice Johnson be that we need to get these people insured. I don't think the public option is the right way to do that. Americans are generous. They want to make sure that everyone has coverage. Uh, indeed, all of the Republican proposals out there cover every single American. And they also want to cover those who have uh, what are called pre-existing conditions or chronic illnesses. But I don't think the public option is the way to do that. Most how of the is Republican it going to be done? Plans... Go ahead. How, how would you do it? Well, my own legislation gives a stipend, cash, to Americans who cannot afford to buy their own plan and lets them use that cash from the government to go buy their own plan. And what I think the advantage of that is, is if you buy your own plan, two things happen. One, you can hold it accountable. If it doesn't treat you right, you can fire it. In a government program, you can't fire it. Um, and second, if you buy it, with, even with the stipend given to you by the government, you take personal accountability and responsibility. My concern with the public plan is that it will destroy the health care coverage that 83% of Americans like. Let's solve the problem without doing damage a to what stipend, people like. Though? A stipend? In other words, you would take my money as a taxpayer and give it to someone so that they can then take that money and give it to one of these health care companies that's making millions and millions of dollars in profit. I mean, and, some and the people reason would... those, And the reason they're making those profits is that, the, is that the rules are rigged right now in their favor. What I want to do is force them to compete. The truth is, health insurance. But they wouldn't be the competing. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Let's just try to. Well, back no, let up me on answer your question. I, I, no, I know. I just want to understand it, though. There's before. no competition I, I, in health insurance in America today. But you wouldn't be adding competition if you're just giving them government money to. Throw oh, oh yes, I will be adding no. competition because let me explain. Okay. What we do is we make them actually compete for our dollars. Right now, health insurance companies only have to market to our employers. They don't have to market to us. If they abuse us. If they charge too much, mm -hmm. uh, if they are, if they cheat us, we can't hold them accountable because we didn't hire them. Our employers hired them. Why did our employers hire them? Because our employer can buy health insurance with tax-free dollars. You and I have to use after-tax dollars. That cheats every American. What we need to do is make those health insurance companies compete for my business. The uh, auto insurance, let me make this point, the auto insurance industry competes for our business. You see a Geico ad, a State Farm ad, an Allstate ad every day. And they keep telling us we, they can do better for us at lower cost. When was the last time you saw a health insurance company run that kind of advertisement begging for our business saying they no, can do no, listen, better hey, at lower cost? I, I love your passion and I love the novelty of your idea. Let me let the congresswoman in here. Uh, why not? Why don't we just take the government money, give it to people so that they can put it in these insurance companies and buy something that will work for them, congresswoman? It doesn't work. The insurance companies will not insure people that are sick. They will not insure people that are older. Uh, it is clear that's why they manipulated to make sure that Medicare was the first payer after someone gets to be 65, after you've paid into this insurance company all of your adult life. Uh, she, it is, it, give me something that works, that substitutes for the public option, and I might be able to do that. My gonna, way are you, you going to tell, hey, by the way, point. Congresswoman, are you going to tell the White House that? Are you going to pick up the phone today, I, call the White House, and tell them? What is your message on this? Because I just talked to Rick Sanchez on CNN, and he's confused. He's trying to figure out for himself, as is the entire network, is public option on? Is it off? Why are we getting so many mixed signals from the White House on this? I haven't gotten any mixed signals from the White House. When I heard that on Sunday, I called 
the White House, and I was told that everything was still on the table. We are not in session. We can't change anything right now. So you now. think it's still on the table right now? It is still on the table. It is the best option we have, but right. we'll look at other places. And the to... other thing is, too, well, I well, Hold on. Let me, that... let me get the other side's take on this. Uh, Republican Congressman John Shattuck, uh, I do think, you still I think, think it's on the table? I think the Congresswoman has an excellent point. The insurance companies have been able to refuse to insure the sick and those with uh, uh, chronic conditions. We shouldn't let them get away with that. I introduced legislation that would require every state to cover all high-risk people and make sure that every American that has either a pre-existing condition. I have a sister with breast cancer. She was in job lock for years. Yeah. That's not fair. She's right. We not only need to give people choice, but we need to force the insurance industry to take even the sick. And what I would propose is that we do that through high-risk pools so that every American gets coverage. Then we force the insurance industry to compete like the auto insurance industry or the life insurance I industry, or for that matter, you know, I, any I other industry. I, I love your passion about this. It's like you come in with an idea, you're pushing for it. Good for you. By the way, yes or no from you, do you think health op the uh, public option is still there? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's going to remain a part of this okay. debate until this bill is done. All right. Just what, you guys have been great. Wonderful discussion. Good, smart talk. M my appreciation to both of you for coming on with us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, if you want to know more about the health care debate and how the reforms could affect you and your family, check out our special health care in America section. It's at CNN.com. Get the very latest from the town hall debates. We'll cover them for you. Fact check reports, eye reports, and other health care news. We're committed to bringing you the truth on this thing.